For a single family home, normal water pressure falls anywhere between 40 to 60 PSI. That's because everything in your home that requires water pressure was engineered for this range. For example, most water softeners need a minimum of 35 PSI to operate, so being in that 40 to 60 PSI range is perfect. Even if your water pressure is a bit outside of this range, it's okay, but if you find that it's too high, it means that the water's flowing through your system too heavily, and that causes leaks or just premature wear. And if it's too low, then I mean you just have low water pressure to your fixtures. Any water pressure system that's over 80 PSI should have a pressure reducing valve, which looks like this. But first you need to figure out your water pressure first. So to figure out your water pressure, you're gonna need something like this. It's very simple to use, it's a pressure gauge. You can connect the pressure gauge to your hose bib. And after you turn off all the running water in your home, turn on the hose water and it will show you what your pressure is in PSI. So if you find that your pressure is too high, it may be the normal water pressure from the city or town, but it's not good for your home. So you're gonna wanna install a pressure reducing valve. And like I said before, anything above 80 should have one. And this is a simple valve that produces an output pressure that's smaller than the supply pressure. These are usually installed just after the inlet to the house which is usually found in the basement. These arrows show you which way to install the product. You just connect your feed side here and the water will flow through with the reduced pressure as it reacts with a diaphragm and pressured spring inside of here to reach your desired PSI. Most pressure reducing valves has a factory preset of 50 PSI and an adjustment range of 15 to 75 pounds and others have a, an adjustment range of 10 to 50 pounds. So once you buy it or before you buy it, Make sure you know what you're getting. To change the PSI output range, you'll need a wrench. All you do is move it clockwise to raise the pressure or counterclockwise to reduce the pressure. Every pressure reducing valve has technical specifications to take note of. For example, this one inch Zern valve has a minimum inlet PSI of 80. There's also a maximum pressure of 400 PSI and maximum working temperature of 140 degrees. It has a single union connection and it's lead free. This cartridge style reducing valve from Taco is used in hydronic and radiant heating systems to feed water to the system when pressure drops below a certain level. It's called the pressure reducing valve, but it works in a different way. So to change the pressure range on this product, you loosen this top part and then this knob changes right here. And you can see the, the range changing. There's also a fast fill button to increase flow to the system manually right here. You simply press the fast fill button on top of the valve and when the set pressure is reached, the valve pops out of fast fill mode and returns to its original operating mode. This has a max inlet pressure of 250 PSI and a maximum temperature of 210 degrees. It has a female threaded connection. The adjustment range is 10 to 50 PSI and it comes with a factory preset of 12 PSI. And you're going to install this on your cold water supply line before the water boiler. And of course, you can purchase this to fit all sizes of your pipe. And if your problem is low water pressure, you can install a pressure tank or a booster pump. But before you take that step, I would make sure you don't have any leaks in your system and also make sure your main water supply valve is fully open. If you have any questions on pressure reducing valves or you wanna know technical specifications, ask in the comments section or find our email below. If you want any tips on how to find water leaks, you can check out this video here. And if you like the video, then press like.